The year is 260 AD. War rages between the Sassanids and the Roman Empire. Emperor Valerian now leads an army against the Sassanid armies and they have met at Edessa to have a great showdown between the two great powers in the east. What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today. And this is a bit of a historical one. Um, this is with the Divide, Empire Divided DLC as well as you can see here we have the Sassanids and we have like the late Roman Empire or one of the later Roman Empires here. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one. It's uh, the Battle of Odessa which was fought in 260 AD and it was um, a damning Roman defeat. Uh, so much so that, in fact, the Roman Emperor was captured. The only time it ever really happened, Emperor Valerian was captured by Shaper the First, and um, he was yeah was imprisoned. Um, and well, they don't actually know what really happened to Emperor Valerian. He did, uh, some say he was killed. Some say he was just uh, put in like imprisoned in a in a palace in the east. We, we will see what happens in today's video. I'm excited to see what happens. Rome is now going to try and recreate history. These vigilates here bravely uh, dying for their emperors. Those Dalamites instantly blitz those uh, vigilates. We have some uh, cohorts going in now. But yeah, they actually don't know um, how this battle really went. Whether it was a siege or whether it was a, uh, an, uh, an actual land battle. So we kind of have a bit of both going on. So we have the Romans outside the settlement to start with. Uh, fighting a bit of a land battle. And then we have a siege that is going to take place after. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this one goes down. As for sure, you can see the cohorts are jabbing away with their pillum. I'm seeing focusing down this Dalmite unit. Was there like 114? It's now down to 70. Uh, or 79, I think. So yeah, took a lot of losses there. But these cohorts, they're not the greatest. They are... Uh, they're okay, but they're nothing great. The Roman army has certainly taken a bit of a, uh, a hit in this period of time. It's still pretty damn elite, though. There's just been a change in look and style and strategy. And already those Dalamites there being broken, so really well done there. Obviously lots of cav here for the Persians, but the Romans also have a decent amount of cav. They have a decent amount. At this point in time as well, cavalry is very important for the Romans. They have cataphracts of their own. They have equite cataphracti here. They also have some, um, some Praetorian cav here to protect their emperor. I believe that the uh, Valerian is uh, over here as well. He is, yes, with the Praetorian cavalry themselves so uh, yes he's brought his Praetorians from Rome though at this point in time um, the Praetorians were basically part of the field army um, of the Roman army they uh, they didn't really spend much time in Rome in like their barracks they actually were on the front line fighting because uh, well they were needed they couldn't afford to have like 10,000 men just chilling in Rome when they needed them on the front line somewhere because the frontiers were constantly under attack but yeah this was a battle that was done on our discord it was a, uh, a kind of an interesting one, that is for sure. If you'd like to get involved in some Rome 2 battles or scenarios, or want to send in your own Rome 2 replays, then feel free to join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. And yeah, this was a really fun one. I really do like this period. Empire Divided is actually one of my favorite DLCs. I really do like it. Adds like a whole, obviously, new campaign, new units, new factions. And there's something about, like, the... Um, I don't know, like, the later Roman Empire, that really intrigues me. Like, every, I do like, the, obviously, like, the High Imperial as well. Everyone's got to love the classic look and, like, legionary with this, like, schemata, uh, like, scale armor. But something about, like, the Roman Empire kind of, like, fighting for its life on the back foot, but still, for quite a while, for a few centuries, you know, still kicking ass. It's quite fun to, to, to read about. And the cohorts here, they're actually winning against these Dalamites. Uh, I wonder if that's got anything to do with these Evercardi cohort that have come up. So these are veterans of their campaigns, still wearing the, uh, the old scale armor. It was still being used at this point. They wouldn't have got rid of it. And uh, they're actually jabbing to the back. And these guys, yeah, I hope they do a decent amount of job. Actually, well, I'm saying they're jabbing to the back. It's mainly the cohorts in the back. So they do need to be careful jabbing there. Yeah, a few units breaking here and there. Over on this far flank over here, we had a big cavalry fight. Um, we did actually miss it. I do apologize, but uh, the Roman cav was defeated. Um, though it does look like the uh, cavalry that's left for the uh, for the assassins isn't very healthy. Camel cataphracts here looking pretty banged up. I think that's the only unit that made it out alive. They got elephants back here as well, which are very very key. They will need to uh, do some pretty big 
things in these battles here. I mean, obviously, the Romans, when uh, it gets inside the desert, are going to have to fight street by street. And uh, the elephants could definitely be useful for breaking through choke points. Dalamites here. Battling away. The Romans doing their best. Holding them back. But yes, if you're enjoying the Rome 2 action and would like to see some more of these historical sort of battles or just generally just see more Rome 2 action, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're on here and a comment show support. It really does help out the channel, guys. So what I was saying is that we have a, uh, a, a submod on that uh, adds a whole bunch of, uh, like, a whole new look to the Romans. Uh, it's called Sol Invictus. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to try it out. I actually realized I didn't have it on to start, like, the first five minutes of this video. Which is excellent. But we now have it on. And you can see the new look of the Romans. Which looks awesome to be honest. Um, it gives them their actual. A bit more of a historical look. They've got more oval shields going on. Some still have the old like. Um, scutum sort of style. Uh, rectangular shield. But uh, most of them are now moved to this new. Uh, oval sort of look. Which gives them a bit more protection. A bit easier to carry as well. We've got Joviani here. A really elite unit. They've got their awesome eagles. On their shields. They look great. They really do. And we've got. Uh. We've got some equite cataphracti behind as well. We've got some immortal spear guards as well moving up as well already. Some units here starting to break some dalamites, but also some cohorts breaking. Um, there are certainly some solid, solid infantry units up here for the uh, for the Persians. Throwing in the dalamites for now, but I'm sure we'll get into strong stuff. We've got some Roman legionaries here fighting out on his left flank against dalamites. Hold the line, men! We must fight and kill every last one of these damn Persians. And Dalamites there getting javied in the back by Cohors. Certainly uh, a game that Javi is going to be really important, I feel like. Javi volleys anyway in Rome 2 are really, really deadly. But, uh, I mean, in this one, the Romans can get some really nasty Javi volleys off. I don't know if the Persians do have Javis. I can't really remember. Um, it's certainly something that I thought most factions have in, in uh, Rome 2, to be honest, such as Javis. Here we go, Cohorts going in against Immortal Infantry. I don't think this is a fight they're going to win. Yeah, I think both sides have Javis. Looking at the Romans, got some Javis in them. Well, I really do like this, uh, this look for the, uh, for the Romans. This is cool. Soul Invictus. They're very, very nice mod. But you can see Roman Legion starting to waver out there, starting to break uh, more Roman Legions. They are winning here, beating those Dalamites. We've got archers on the walls, by the way, that were helping out this fight. We've got armored archers up here, and they're focusing down on units. We've got the Centurion there, commanding his men. He's like, knock and loose. And they're firing down on some Immortal Infantry, which have, I think they got themselves... Oh, I thought they had themselves surrounded, but it's just literally one guy. Look at this. Little duel going on. Oh, brutal. Well done, Marius. Killing that guy. A damn Persian. At least he's got one kill before he dies for Rome. And it's Emperor. As you can see here, the cohorts, they're battling on. They're doing their bit. They are dying, though. They're not very good. Even though they're heavy melee infantry, they're not that great, really. Um, there are nasty, heavy hitting stuff coming up, though. Joviani already coming up. We have got more Joviani, which is a really solid unit. You've got the Joviani and Herculani, best units available to the Romans. Weirdly enough, the um, Praetorian Guard, not that great, actually. Um, I don't know where they are, but they are here somewhere. They're over here, the Praetorians. Um, they're not actually protecting their Emperor. I guess that's been left to the, uh, the cavalry units of the Praetorians today. But the normal Praetorians, you can see with their lion-like shield, which is just awesome. Um, yeah, they're here protecting, ready to do their bit. We're jabbing on um, these immortal infantry over here. Praetorians back here as well. I mean, they look awesome. They really do. Defending the walls of Edessa. So, yeah. So, uh, in in history, um, Emperor Valerian basically decides to... There may have been a battle or a siege, and the Romans would lo had either lost the battle and retreated to Edessa, or they were starting to starve in Edessa in the siege. So, Emperor Valerian, to save his troops decided to ride out and and uh, make a peace treaty with the with Chapeur, the first and um, I, I don't know I can't really, I'm not really sure what went wrong whether there was a plot to remove Valerian with uh, Chapeur or whether Chapeur just saw an opportunity and took it and captured the Roman Emperor so he thought he'd get a better deal in, a, in a, another peace treaty Return the Emperor. 
But the Romans just replaced him. They just replaced Valerian. So Shepard just had a man that was had used to be an emperor. Um, a man called Gallienus. Gallienus, I think it is. Uh, Gallienus, something like that. Basically becomes uh, emperor. And yeah, it is at a point of history where the empire is so unstable that they just keep replacing emperors left, right, center. These immortal infantry, though, are getting focused down by archers right now. It's certainly giving these uh, these Romans half a chance to win these cohorts, but they are broken anyway. Got more immortal infantry going in here. They've got even more nasty stuff back here. I mean, they've got like immortal spears. Uh, they have got somewhere over here, yeah, immortal infantry guard, which are even. Uh, stronger units there. Got some royal archers. Romans that have got in behind here. Joviani, which have broken through. And they are getting chopped down over here. Are these Joviani? I think they are uh, being chased by um, immortal infantry. But yeah, we've got Joviani here that have managed to catch some cav out. And they must have found a hole in the line and just snuck in behind. But yeah, big win there for the, uh, for the Romans. I mean, they are losing in the Joviani, but you know what? It causes some chaos. And the Romans are kind of thin on the ground with troops out here. They're really thin on the ground, actually. But yeah, the archers certainly have done a lot of damage. Um, we were kind of did say these archers probably should... Actually, this one's got zero kills. That one's got 44. I and mean, they were certainly helping to win battles. Um, zero kills over here. Yeah, more and more uh, like archers. I mean, they've got some okay kills. They've not like actually used a lot of their ammo. 19. Yeah, they've not actually done a lot. Belarix thingers. I don't know if these things have done anything. 60 kills. 90 kills. That's thing up there. Jeez. Yeah, there's some pretty nasty damage then. Um, but yeah, the Romans are prepared. We've got plenty of uh, Evercarty cohort back here. We're ready and waiting. We've got some legionaries as well. I am basically the main defense force for the uh, for the, for the Romans. I have all the, uh, the troops that will be holding back. We've got Pike coming back here. Um, that are right at the back, I guess, for a last stand. I mean, the Ro it looks awesome. It really does. Like, the rank upon rank of Romans. It looks great. Uh, there are Cav now selling out. So we have a Cavalry sally out going on. And um, they aren't quite done with their uh, their defense outside the walls. It seems the Romans are sending out more Praetorian Cavalry and Equi uh, Cataphracti. These Praetorians here might go for these uh, Cataphracts. Come on, men. Defend your Emperor. Fight and die. We've got uh, cataphracts here that are going in, but yeah, here go the uh, Praetorians against the cataphracts. I don't know how well this is really going to go. I mean, they got a good charge off. The Praetorians starting to die. The cataphracts got the best charge. They are melee cab though, so as that fight goes on, they might do better. Good charge there from the Praetorians catching out the cataphracts. That might uh, be an easy win for them. There are archers now firing in though. And we're going to see some... It looks like a mortal infantry maybe turn around. And yeah, the archers here. Kurdish archers and royal archers firing onto the counter, uh, onto the Praetorians. Trying to do their best. Praetorians are winning this fight. And Evercarty getting in here and winning. Helping to win this fight as well. The cataphracts. I guess a little banged up. This guy's just standing on his horse. And now he's floating in midair. What has happened there? There you go, the, cata um, the cataphracts was defeated here. Now we have the Praetorians able to go into the archers. And we have the elephants being mobilized against the Praetorians. Oh boy. Oh jeez, knocking the Praetorians off. These brave elite cavalry units. Being sent to their deaths against elephants. There you go, Praetorian cav easily being defeated. What do we have here? We have Praetorians still fighting. They are losing, though, to some immortal infantry down here. Come on, boys. Your emperor expects victory or your death. There you go, the Praetorians winning that fight pretty easily now. The uh, elephants in here and they're going manic. And this is the great thing with the legionaries or just any Romans to be honest. They all have javis. 
So these elephants are going to be like getting focused down. Real problem for the uh, assassins here today are these elephants. But they are go going amok, going through the own, uh, their own men, but also legionaries here. We're fighting pretty hard against these uh, mortal infantry. They are losing though. And also the elephants are starting to die. They're getting focused on pretty hard actually. Got some little cavalry units that are still out here trying to do some damage. Torians here, and we've also got some legionary cavalry that's been sent out. A bit weaker, but still a deadly force. What a weird helmet you've got on. That's not very Roman looking. Disgusting. Get, uh, get a uh, normal helmet, or no helmet at all, boys. Especially if you're going to bring that. Indian war elephants nearly dead. But the, uh, the Roman troops are now outside the wall pretty much depleted, but they have killed a lot of per um, Persians off. I was going to call them Parthians, but no, they're not. Something very different. And we've got Persian light infantry still back here. Some like light units that are, I think, going to get the job of pushing forward these towers um, and rams. And then we've got lots of immortal infantry over on this side still to go in. But uh, certainly, I think, like, one of the costliest areas over here for the Persians. They lost a lot. These archers over here, I don't know if... Yeah, they are firing. They, uh... They will have probably got a decent amount of kills. That is for sure. They like, will have been focusing down, getting a lot of covering fire on those Romans. 17, what's this one got? 78. They haven't got like insane kills. They've got some kills. We've got even more Romans now going outside the wall now. More Evercardi going outside. The Praetorian general as well. Looks like he might be going out. That is, the Praetorian general is supposed to represent Emperor Valerian, so he might be about to go out. We've got some, uh, over here. I don't know if he's going to go out, but they just stood by the wall, patiently waiting. We have more and more cav and more and more infantry being sent out. These uh, Equitai Promoti over here being sent out. This was a... Um, it was a 4v4, or it was the size of a 4v4 uh, battle it was. So, uh, these boys, these armies are pretty big. Um, Basically, is what I was trying to say. Both seen a lot of action. I mean, the cataphracts over here are untouched. We've still got a lot of cavalry over here. We're just looking at nothing, by the way. The Romans have left. Uh, so these cataphracts and stuff out here just stood here doing nothing. So they might want to get those over here to try and maybe do some charges onto these Roman legionaries. Get some rear charges or something, because that will be uh, the best for them. I don't know. There's not a lot of Persians left to make an assault on that city. They've got to get through a lot. I'm just kind of looking at what the, who's going to make the first move. Looks like it might be the Romans. They're going moving their cav round here. Making a push. Oh, I think they're going to go for this ballista that's waiting here. The uh, Persians got a ballista. And yeah, I think this uh, Praetorian cav, a little crack force of Praetorians is going to get sent in. And they're going to try and take that out. And here we go. In go the Roman cavalry. They're going to ride these guys down. Knock through the first ballista crew into the second one. Start stabbing them up, boys. And if they break them, that's, all, that's a win. They don't, it doesn't probably matter if this cab unit survives or not. It probably isn't going to now that... We got some mortal infantry in there, elite mortal infantry as well. Yeah, the cab's trying to get out of there. It's trying to pull out of combat. He's now going to get attacked by uh, a general over here, a super heavy shock cab. Oh boy, there's a tiny little unit of cam on cataphracts there. It could also probably be used to slow it down. I don't know what they're planning to go for these uh, Romans. Maybe a rear charge. They are not going to make it though. And they go run down by the general, but they've done their job. They sacrificed their lives to save. A the city from being bombarded by ballistic crews. We've got more cav in here now. We've got an Equitai Promoti running down this uh, mortal infantry unit here. I mean, that is a pretty nasty charge. A lot of them getting up, but it was a, like, knocked down the whole unit. It was impressive. wonder if we're going to see the same again, or whether these guys are going to go for these royal archers. There's only 17 in this unit, so they must have been pretty battered in a charge somewhere. Another one with 22. We've got more cataphracts over here, tr again, trying to 
Slows so us down. Oh my gosh, here comes all the cavalry now. All shifting over. I'm going to come this poor Equite Promote is not going to be getting out of this one alive. Again, more Roman cab being sent in. I th it's causing a lot of uh, like problems though with these like cab charges for the Persians. And when we were playing this battle, yeah, um, the, the players were really struggling to like coordinate their cab. But both were wanting their cab in different places because they were worried about different Roman cab units. But really, all the cab power just came down this one side, really. Um, so they kept all, cab, all the cab out here, and nothing happened. They expected a big standoff, a big fight. Never came. Um, whether the, um, ca uh, the the Persians should have been aggressive, should have charged, I think they should have. They probably could have done a good amount of damage. Especially when the Romans were busy microing over here. You could have caught them out. But I'm going to make a quick cut now, just until the next part of the siege begins because now they are pushing forward their towers so we are going to see a bit of a siege battle now so i thought that the romans were done fighting outside the settlement but oh no they are not um so the immortals uh, the elite immortal spear guard here being sent in against roman legionaries i think the immortals should still win even though they're a speed they're heavily more elite and more uh like a better stats generally than the roman legionaries I think they should still win that, but they, the Romans were deciding, you know what, screw it. We're not going to let it go to a siege battle. We're going to try and fight for, um, like, still carry on fighting for outside. I mean, they stopped the towers here in their tracks. Got, like, a tiny little Praetorian Guardian here, slowing down a whole bunch of Praetorians. And we've got some Archer Fire coming into the Immortals as well. The Praetorians just got to hold on while the Archers do all the work, really. As you can see here, Mortal Guard, they're moving around. Yeah, the uh, well, the Javis up here from the Roman Legion is actually doing a lot of work on these uh, Mortal troops. We've got some Praetorians coming over again. It's just the remains of that other flank where uh, the Praetorians have been holding out. You can see the Praetorians going in. Got armored archers going in as well. I guess out of ammo, so they're just being sent in to hold the line. We've got a general in here as well. This is uh, Emperor Valerian, in fact, charging an immortal infantry unit here. Uh, so the emperor, being a very bold man, we've got Equitate Promoti going in here. One of the, I guess, one of the other surviving units that uh, did manage to keep itself alive. Uh, we've got the uh, the cab over here, the Persian cab going in. These cataphracts. Look like they're going to go for go in and try and take these guys out. Looks like, I mean, the Romans have done a decent amount of damage with their cav, but it looks like the uh, Persians are going to win this cav fight. They are running out of cav. I think this is their last one. And they're rear charging these immortal spears. Don't know if that really achieved much. Charge then into the uh, immortal guard infantry there. Again, they're still losing because they're pulling out of combat. A line, f <laughs> a line fight, or is a battle line still over here as well, is what I meant to say. Immortal infantry here, still fighting as legionaries. They've broken through here in the center, so that's nicely done. There's a unit behind, though, here, waiting. Some more legionaries. Apparently, it's 28 men. Oh, there's two different units. Okay, I was going to say, that was more than 28 men. There's two tiny units holding the line. The Immortals probably will blitz through these guys pretty quickly. Actually, these Immortals are losing to Roman legionaries. I'm really surprised by that. Evercardi now shifting over along with more legionaries. By John men! The Archer Fire still coming in, being absolute pain for these attackers. They weren't really happy with this amount of Archer Fire. It was pretty brutal. And we actually got a sally out over here on this gate as well. We have Evercati sallying out over here. The Romans sending out even more of their veteran warriors to fight and die for the Emperor. These men close to retirement, but they just need to fight one more battle to get their bit of gold and land from the Emperor. Yeah, Roman Legion is starting to suffer down here. A thin line holding this, uh, holding back this Persian horde. Fight on, kill them all. Kill them. Kill the scum. Oh, rip. 
I love the oval shields though for the uh, legions. They do look cool. You can see they haven't got a gladius either. They're using the uh, the big Spartha sword there. Got a bit more reach and also uh, I think I don't know. I think it was something that was easy to produce or something like that. I read. Have the um, ever cast it? Oh no, they have Sparthas as well. I thought they might have uh, gladiuses. They were still in use of gladius at this point. They're suddenly going out of fashion. Um, because they don't have as much reach. I think that's just really all it was. They needed a bit more reach. Um, for like the enemies they were fighting, the Sparta made more sense than a Gladius. Good charge there, though, by the Cataphracts. I actually probably bulldozed down that unit there. Let's see. Avocado, yeah. I mean, it was 10 or so, man. It wasn't actually that great. They're in a Testudo for some bizarre reason. I think I was just messing around, forming formations, seeing what they could do. I kind of sent these men out to die. I was like, I kind of want to get involved in some fighting outside the walls with my infantry. So I sent my uh, my infantry out here to fight. Forward! You can see over here we've got the, uh, the cavalry still trying to get rear charged. Nice charge there, actually. The cavalry is losing, though. As you can see here as well, I mean, the Romans have still got plenty of reserves. They're actually uh, got lots of like Joviani and uh, Herculani at the back here, still waiting to uh, to wait, await some orders. Here we go, the Romans holding the line for now. They're still fighting and dying out here, Evergardi breaking there, but they've done their damage. Cataphracts are still killing a bunch of Romans though. That one's still fairly healthy, these Evergardi can clearly take the hits. And the archers appear now just firing the, and firing in overtime right now, just trying to hit whatever. These guys have had a lot of joy. 75 kills, nothing insane to be fair, but that's pretty good. Turns out what they've been firing at to be fair. The Roman unit all the way out here. Legion's actually managed to get engaged with, uh, looks like some Kush archers out here. Oh, well, not Kush, sorry, Kurdish archers. Very different things. One's in Africa, one's not. Yeah, they look like they're going to rout those archers. They could just do with setting in something like a royal archer or like even this cav here, just charge them down. Still waiting on the, uh, on the Persians to actually land on the walls. Don't know if it's actually going to happen. These uh, Romans over here getting absolutely battered by the general, but more they are starting to arrive and help on this flank here. Or what remains of them? They're pretty banged up. 97 is the healthiest of the lot. And this is all just to delay them trying to make a siege. We were just like, screw it. We'll fight and kill them outside here. Oh, good rear charge though by the general. Really nice rear charge. As this spear unit goes in, these guys aren't going to be formed up. It's Epcot going to be in real trouble. Brutal. The Immortals down here fighting on. Come on, Evercarty, prove your years of experience. Show it matters. Good, another good rear charge there from the uh, cavalry. That was really nicely done, actually. See that Evercarty breaking. Immortal Spears. They are losing, though. They are suffering. What have we got here? More Evercardi starting to break. I think they might be about to make an assault on the walls. There isn't much left of the Romans outside the walls now. Roman legionaries here. Managed against the archers again. No one really protecting them. And there you go. Cab coming in, doing some damage. I think this is an immortal unit here. Yeah, some immortal cab going in. Really nicely done. Evercarty are still, still dying. They're throwing out a general here. Praetorian general back out. His Valerian is still here. Messing her about. Trying to get some kills. It's just, like, this front line has barely moved. Like, these two sides are just, like, not giving up over this ground. Like, I thought the Romans were going to, like, 
Let's go. All right, screw it. We, we lost like a lot of men out there. We're not gonna carry on. I oh, know they sent out more. They sent out like archers. They sent out more like infantry. They sent out a lot. Praetorian general going deep though. I mean, they're gonna go and get swamped here by immortal spears. You be careful. Don't want to get captured like you were in history, Valerian. I think you might be. He's in a real bit of bother. Run for your life, sir. Run for your life. Because otherwise you are in real deep trouble. Oh, he's, he's got out of there. He's got 40 men left. He should be safe. General over here, though, getting focused down. Got the Gayan Azpar, like a general here. Could be Shapur, who knows. He's getting shot at. And it looks like the uh, Romans that were defeated down there. Can they get these towers up onto the wall now? Can they finally do it? Can they breach Odessa's walls? Who knows? I mean, it would have been a pretty tough siege in reality anyway, if it ever came to a siege. The Romans had multiple legions, like, situated inside the city. So it would have been a tough fight for the uh, for Persians, who obviously were more than well known for their field battles than they were for their sieges. The Romans look awesome, they really do. But here we go. First tower load of infantry coming up, with more some infantry here being sent forward. They're going to need to get, like, a gate open and then, like, um, maybe kill a few generals. Because they're going to need to destroy a gate, get their, what remains of their cav inside. Because they've got still some pretty decent cav. The Romans still have an equi cataphracti general and another general here, which is just a Scutiari unit, which is a, like, a Spanish cavalry unit, I believe. Like, or well, Scutiari is Spanish. So I guess these guys may be derived from Spain. Who knows? I like the chest plate that he's got going on. Like the, des like the details and stuff on that, it's really cool. Very nice. But here we go, we've got Equite Cataphracti there, charging out. And it looks like we're gonna see another charge here from the Romans. Are they really gonna do it? These brave Roman knights. Yeah, go back inside, you, you, you sane man. You, like, insane men. Like, that's just, just nuts. Don't do that. God, uh, archers, they look like they're going to just be pushing up the tower. I think they're just doing it so, I don't know, maybe they don't get charged. The units don't get charged by the cav. Makes sense. I'll grant them that. Got more Romans coming out. There's just archers this time. Oh my gosh, seriously? Lots of Herculani and stuff moving over here. So the elite troops that uh, have been kept in reserve for the Romans are now coming up. Or some more elite troops anyway. There are still s There were some outside the walls. They've been killed. Herculani here. I do like the Herculani look with the uh, like the black eagle on the red shield. It does look really nice. That is a that is a look I could get behind. If I had to go to battle, but I don't know. I feel like either that one or the Praetorians or the Joviani, any of those look really nice to be honest. Even like the basic like Vidri shield looks I can appreciate as well. Yeah, more Herculani here. Where are the Joviani? Yeah, these guys look nice with their blue shields. Or well, some of them have blue shields anyway. They look nice. The eagle there. Oh, very nice. But they have exactly the same stats. Um, like 65 melee attack, 65 melee attack, 37 weapon da uh, 39 weapon damage, 39 weapon damage. Um, it's just that they just have a different name. So these ones are uh, as strong as the mighty Hercules of uh, legend, and these ones fight with the might of Jupiter himself. That's all it is. Everything else, I think, is just about the same. Okay, apart from Herculani, have fast forward, like fast advance. These guys, Joviani, have shield wall. So, uh, a bit more defensive, I guess, the Joviani. But both really have the same stats. Both very da dangerous in combat. Here we go, we've got some um, Roman legions going on full. This archer unit has landed. Obviously, is not going to be the threat. They're just there to push up the tower. It's going to be the guys that come after. Immortal infantry, immortal spear guards coming up. We have another spear guard on its way. And it looks like we're about to see maybe a cataphracti unit come out of this gate because there is a general over here. I don't. This might be a, uh, a good target actually. He's pretty isolated. There are some uh, some cav nearby. Maybe that'll keep the uh, Roman general away, but we will see. He may just be daring enough and foot stupid enough to go in anyway. And here we go. We have Persians landing on the wall now. And decent forces as well on this side. Battle on, men! And they're breaking through, they're trying to break through. Angry at all these archers that have just fought and died. Uh, sorry, 
angry at all these archers that have killed so many of their men as they fought and died at the bottom of that wall. And you can see the Javi's now coming up with Herculani, trying to Javi up there. Don't know if they're really getting any kills. I think I must have just left fire at will on. Not realized. It was a bit of a mistake, but hey, it happens. And yeah, I mean, what's this Legion unit here getting destroyed? Got an archer unit here that's trying to support the fight. Just firing into the backs of those uh, immortal infantry, doing their bit. There you go, legionaries are dying, quickly on this wall. Just couldn't stand up to those experienced immortals. Battle hardened. We've seen a lot of action already in this one fight. Yeah, that unit's gonna be swamped to kill. They're gonna need to send some reserves up, maybe some more Herculani. Or something. Cavalry has sallied out over here, um, and it looks like it might have taken out that general. I can't see him alive, so my best guess is they did take him out. Whether he was already dead, I don't know, the general, but um, they are being tied down now by Persian Light Infantry and also these immortal cav units. I love the officer, though, if that's the officer. Looks awesome. I mean, these units just look great anyway. That's just a badass looking unit. So is this guy. I mean, even like the guys with like the face mask as well look awesome. They really do. The models are great. Cab's losing though. Cataphracts are starting to die. Uh, they are a shock cab after all. They need to, they get their damage off in like the first two or three minutes. After that, it's all melee infantry and melee cab. Lidri's still losing there, but we now have Herculani down here and they are like, they have these guys in a, in like an L shape. Uh, they, they pen them in almost. Yeah, they're, they're dying quickly. They're also getting shot on the flank of the uh, Immortals, so just to make it doubly worse. Maybe even triple worse. Never know what the, like, the banner, like the Dragon Banner is, uh, that the, the Romans start to carry in this period, but if someone does know, do let me know. I've always been intrigued by what it is. see it quite a lot in, like, pictures of, like, like uh, recreations of, like, late Roman Empire looks. It always seems to be there. Maybe it has something to do with, uh, like, it's a, I don't know, a godly sort of, like, image. I'm not really sure. Icon. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just, like, they thought, dragons are scary. We'll put them in. A mortal infantry over here. Starting to lose as well. Getting, I think, shot at by these armored archers. I'm really not sure. They're getting shot or javi. Yeah, they're getting shot at by armored archers. But then themselves are also getting shot by royal archers. And it's only, arm and it's only armored ar archers holding back these immortals with their big spears. Roman legionaries here, they're getting sh sallied out here, and they're going to try and chop down these archers, scare them off away from those uh, armored archers getting focused down. Another little sally out. And they've got Joviani joining them in this one. So we'll see how this goes. Cavalry coming in, though. They're having none of this. They're like, we're done with these damn sallies. And there you go. Good charge there by the immortal cavalry. And they go. Uh, and the uh, Roman legionaries took the brunt of that. So now the Joviani can arrive and maybe start to get the good, start the good killing going. You start chopping down, Joviani. Do your bit. Prove why you're the Emperor's finest. Well, I guess they are finer than the Praetorians. They cost more. They're more elite. The cataphracts here. You focus down this little rear charge they tried off here. It's not going to work. The cab getting tied down in combat is also just not a good idea. Need to get that out of there. Try and cycle it if they can. Immortal Guard Infantry here. They're starting to uh, just get stuck into the good fighting. Herculani getting burned here. That's not good. I think that's because it must be a retreating Persian or something. Because they don't hold the gate to the Persians. So Herculani losing men unnecessarily there. But they can't help that. 
Got a general out here. Equidai, Equite Scutiari. You be careful he doesn't get stuck in, in the wrong fight. There's elephants coming up. And you more elephants. And as you can tell at this point, the Persians are probably going to lose this one. The uh, Romans have a little bit too much in reserve. Um, but yeah, I was thinking if we were to redo this one, I would probably have the... Um, the, like the Romans sally out here and then set up and then have the Persians on this side and have the actual like battle there because I feel like the pitch battle it worked quite well as a concept problem was archers should have been outside the wall with the Romans um, and those that are kept in reserve the archers then shouldn't have been able to like shoot from the walls um, because it was just devastating they were really like were changing the like the outcome of some battles and also it would just allow, like, out here, in this big open plate, allow the cavalry to excel a bit more for the Persians, because they had more, but um, they couldn't really use it. And also, well, they also limited themselves by keeping a bunch out on this right flank, which didn't help, so it did kind of even up the odds. But uh, it would just help a little bit more, I think. If we was a little bit more open. And it uh, was isolated, because one of the Roman armies, which is my army, um, like the ones in yellow here, was supposed to be reserves. And they were actually going to like, fight the siege. So after my allies were defeated, the more would be in a, probably a 4v2. The, uh, or, a, or a 3v2. Then, the, uh, then the, the Romans would then have to defend the city to the last. It was a cool concept. I did enjoy it. The Battle of Odessa looks like it's going to be a Roman victory this time. As they sally out these Indian war elephants over here. They're about to get jabbed, I think, by uh, Herculani here. I think they're going to show them no mercy to these beautiful grey beasts. Which really don't want to be there anyway. They don't want to be here. Elephants are a peaceful lot. They're not fighters. Here we go though, Javi's already going in. I think a few of those elephants. I'd be interested to see what kills they've got. I think this one might have done better than the other one. 65, maybe not. Maybe not. Mortal Spears here. I mean, that's the thing, like, well, actually, that's Herculani. That's no surprise. The Immortal Infantry actually wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be either. I mean, it was pretty solid. Um, but there were certainly some instances where legionaries were winning the fight, and I wasn't really sure because legionaries also kind of suck. Um, it's not until like you get to the Evercati for the Romans that like you get good solid infantry that's going to hold for a while. Well, that's what I've seen when playing like previous di uh, Empire Divided battles, but I don't know. Maybe it just comes down to players and also uh, like what you match up against what. Evercati here. Yeah, they're uh, the but. Get butchering those royal archers, no surprise there, really. But yeah, I think whatever a mate like got onto the walls has been quite quickly dispatched of. Like I said, unfortunately, there just wasn't enough in the end to, to to win the fight. Like I said, and maybe the battle should have taken a little bit further out as well, just out out of archer range. Um, or like I said, way over here, just have an actual proper pitch battle so then the archers, um, like weren't involved, uh, the ones that were kept in reserve. Obviously, the Romans would have taken their own out, but they would have been vulnerable. Like, they were all safe on this wall. They didn't have to worry about cavalry at all, or really even infantry, because they could just get out of the way. So that was a bit of a problem, but it was a fairly fun one. I enjoyed playing Empire Divided again. It is a fun um, DLC. Cool uh, sub-mod as well that adds... Well, or mod, I should say. A cool mod that adds, uh, like, reskins the whole Roman troop, like, army. Which is really fun. I do like that. That I'm definitely gonna have to try and do some like Gallic Rome versus like Aurelian Rome battles as well, or even Palmyra versus um, Aurelian, because I think that'll be really really fun. And also we could have Palmyra versus the Persians, like have a, a battle for the East Persians battling away there. But yeah, that is basically the battle. Um, these royal archers over here, I'm surprised having him broken. The general's broken. That he's long gone. The elephants are also long gone. And but there you go. I think that is gonna be the battle. This archer unit here. Just taking a hot minute to uh, to break. Roman legions having to get a little bit closer. Scare them off. I'm surprised these guys still have ammo. I also think that the uh, archers for the Persians weren't really used enough. They didn't focus things down. But hey, you can't have everything. It was still a really fun battle. I had a lot of fun. There isn't a lot of Romans left. There's a decent amount, but not a lot. It wasn't decisive. It'll probably be a close one. A costly victory. There you go. The Romans were... but. Uh, 
were butchered, but they managed to hold on and win the day. So yeah, we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Like I said, I was playing as one of the Roman armies. Got significantly less kills, but also took significantly less losses. My army was pretty healthy at the end. Um, but yeah, thank you to Decibel, to Mo, to Omens, and Mythic that all took part. I know everyone uh, doesn't enjoy the Empire Divided DLC. I personally do quite enjoy it. And not everyone has it either, which is obviously a big problem. But yeah, thank you for joining and l making this scenario happen. Uh, my Cav really did not do much in the way of kills. Yeah, these guys kind of got murked. By this one, 87 kills. They kind of got beaten up by um, by the Persian Cavalry. They really did. The Persian Cav proved its prowess. 99 kills for these Armoured Archers, the best of the bunch. 90 for Barrel Eric Slinger. Um, we did have larger armies because um, it was planned for 4v4, but we obviously couldn't get the players, so we went for. We all decided to take a few extra troops. Um, the Persians still, I think, had the numbers, but only just, I think. Um, that's going to be like it's 8,000 there. It might be a little bit more for the Romans, in fact, actually, but maybe because the Assassinats had uh, less more in uh, more cav and more elephants which brings down the numbers but uh 159 kills for these roman legionaries down here joviani getting 114 herculani 92 still very healthy um and then we've got decibel playing his rome one of the outside armies 176 kills with his cataphracti his general getting 113 kills his praetorian one uh, his armored arch is getting 108 kills uh, and then you've got his cohorts here getting 103 evercarty getting 143 172 his uh, Joviani actually really struggling, kind of dying pretty quickly, only getting 70 kills. 100 kills for his Praetorians, 234 for this one here, very nicely done. 106 with the Legionaries. Then we have Mo playing as the other Roman army, getting 221 kills with his Roman Legionaries. 183 with another one here, 237 there again, very nicely done. Herculani with 72 kills, his Evercati 190 with healthy numbers left. Cohorts 120. Four kills, his armored archers 162, and then his cav really struggled as well, actually. Uh, 90 kills for his general. Then we have omens playing his assassinids, 265 kills with his general. Uh, his elephants getting 104 kills. Uh, his cav 160, uh, 152, sorry, the best of the bunch. Uh, archers 126, 153 with his archers there. His dalamite infantry 113 kills. Immortals really struggled 99, but his uh, immortal guard infantry getting. 132, 188 with the spear ver variant, uh, 141 with the spear variant actually did much better, it seems. And then we've got Mythic playing as the final Sassanid army. 108 kills with his Indian War Elephants. They actually, like, did slightly outscore them, only just. Uh, both doing fairly similar in quality of game. Uh, 124 kills with the Sassanid Cav there, 100 kills with his Immortal uh, Cavalry. And what else have we got over here? We've got 81 kills with the Dalamites. Yeah, they really struggled. Uh, immortal Infantry, 110 kills, 105, 149 with another there. His more Elite Immortal Infantry, 151 kills. And then his Persian Lights down here, yeah, not much. But they were kind of the cannon fodder to send in um, at the beginning, I think. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. The Battle of the Deaths of Emperor Valerian may have fallen, but his army was victorious here. And he will help preserve the eastern frontier of the Roman Empire for another day. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.